Enemy cruiser sunk. Hello, everyone. I am uh, Fresh Potato, uh, and we are back in the Terror 7 Pan Asian cruiser, the Harbin. And we are on the road to Sijong, right? <laughs> and you guys know, if you have been keeping up with my videos, I am a fan of the Pan Asian cruisers because they are very difficult to play. And that's how you learn, new players. You learn by playing the difficult ships, right? The ships that are considered to be the bad, quote-unquote, bad ships, okay? The quote-unquote, bad accuracy ships. You play those, and you have a, you, you know, have a hard time playing them, but eventually, you'll get better. You'll improve. And I like these ships because they are really hard to play because of the floaty shells, those shells, those high arcing shells, very, very difficult to aim. But when they connect, when they connect, you cause a lot of damage, right? <laughs> but here we're going to back into the cap. We're keeping an eye on our concealment. Up there it is 11.2 kilometers. So we want to try to maintain our concealment. Uh, as long as there's no destroyers around, we should be fine. But these cruisers, they come equipped with, of course, smoke. And that smoke comes in very handy as we are going to have to now begin to pop that smoke because we are now within... Smoke generator started. We're within uh, the that New Jersey's uh, range to, 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 to spot us. So here, now we're in smoke. Now we're going to start to light up this New Jersey. We send some torpedoes that way. Hopefully they can connect. And that's the thing with these ships. Okay, in order to get a good amount of damage, you have to connect with your torpedoes. At least, I would say... Uh, <laughs> I would say you have to connect with at least five torpedoes in a game, right? At least five. Maybe four to get a good amount of damage at the end of the game. And it looks like we're going to connect with some torps here. And yes, the satisfying, <laughs> the satisfying connection of torps, right? As we send that New Jersey straight to the Shadow Realm, giving us our first kill of the game. And we are already at 54,000 damage and we got the cap. So now we want to utilize this smoke on the other side and light up that Amagi, if we can see him, of course. <laughs> am I going to take some blind shots here and just take a wild guess? Yes, I am. Are we going to be lucky? Are we going to win the lottery here? <laughs> Are we? Are we? No. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and turn our attention to the Chapayev out there in the distance, the AL Chapayev. Our smoke is running out, so we're gonna have to get moving and get to get some island cover here. Can't be shooting and shooting and shooting. Now we're spotted because hey, <laughs> the FDG pops out of nowhere. We're gonna line up some more torps. Can we get lucky with some torps here? Like I said, if you wanna have the good games in these Pan Asian cruisers, you have to connect with your torps. You have to connect with your torps because your shells are not strong enough to carry you as far as getting high damage in these ships. There goes the powerful Tulsa. We need to run away from that guy too. We didn't know he was there because we're in smoke. We don't have any spotting on this side. There goes the, F the FDG and yes, we connect with three torps on that guy. Unfortunately, we didn't get him. Did we, did we set a fire? No, we didn't set a fire. We needed a fire, but we didn't get it. Not good. <laughs> but we are already at 106,000 damage here in the early stages of this game. And this is where you say, hey, all right, I'm having a good game here. It's time for me to run away. Let me preserve some health here because I want to finish the game strong. We got him with us fired there, and he is burning. And we're just going to keep lining him up here. I should have maybe switched to AP, but the AP I don't think would have caused a significant enough damage to kill him right away. But here goes the Gusape Varde, or Giuseppe Varde, sorry. And he is heading in here like, here I come, okay. 
<laughs> I'm coming to support my dead ship. I'm going to sail into danger. <laughs> but he's there, so we have a good opportunity to stack up on some damage here. We are still in our smoke. We can line up some torps in that direction, if possible, and try to light this guy up and start some fires. We need to start some fires here. We line them up, no fire there. Try to line them up again. Can we get a fire here on this salvo? No. What is going on here? Is that is that uh, Giuseppe Bardi already on the fire? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> what is going on here? What? <laughs> Can I get a fire already? No, not today. No, no, no. Okay, all right. All right, I guess, I guess not. <laughs> but now we are spotted, so now we need to sail out of here. We need to try to kite away. There goes a the fire. Sh should have did that earlier. <laughs> so we now we got that Giuseppe Varde cooking. Can we get the kill before somebody else gets the kill or before we die here? We dodge. <laughs> Look at that beautiful splash. And we send that Giuseppe Varde uh, straight to the Shadow Realm <laughs> with an epic kill there. <laughs> we should have died there, seriously. <laughs> so here, we have defended our side, it looks like. Just that Tulsa left. We are. We do have the A-cap, okay? We are at 116,000 damage, all right? <laughs> and we are feeling good, okay? But we are clinging on to life. But we want some more damage, so we need to get ourselves back into the fight. We're going to line up that Amagi there. Okay, maybe we should have utilized some islands better. We could have did that, but we didn't. So we're, we're going to sail out here in the open. We do have that one smoke left. I don't think we should use it. I hope we don't use it. Because uh, if we do... <laughs> if we do, we might, uh, we might need it later on in the battle so we're gonna just keep lining them up I, I don't know why we're not we're not setting enough fires here we're not setting enough fires here I am built for fires okay <laughs> I do have those two skills that improve our fire chances but just not causing any fires but we're gonna try to keep pushing and pushing and pushing pushing this Tulsa and just continue to line him up with are HE shells that should be causing significant fires, but it's not. <laughs> not today, right? RNG is not on our side. <laughs> the old RNG roll of the dice, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, that Telsa is sent back to port, and we didn't get our fire there. But we know the Amagi is left, is it? Not the Amagi. There's another cruiser left. Probably on the other side. There it is in the mini-map. Uh, it's not spotted, but it's somewhere in this area. So maybe we can uh, we can pad our damage just a little bit more before the ending of this game. This was a good game for us on this part. Uh, for On our part, I feel. We did get a cap. Okay. We did get two kills. And we do have two defended ribbons. And there goes, there goes the AL Chapayev. And we're going to try to duke it out with the Chapayev, which is not always a good idea. Chapayev, really good guns. We should have been popped that smoke. We should have did that as soon as we turned that corner, right? But we are not. Foolishness on our part. Big mistake. We should have did that. Now we're going to pop the smoke, but it's too late. That guy knows where we are. We're not even going to pop our heel. This is pure nonsense. <laughs> Oh no, not not looking good for us. But we get a fire there. We're gonna try to line them up again, and no. <laughs> that Chapayev send us straight to the Shadow Realm in our smoke. <laughs> okay, at least we die in concealment. No one can see us sink. Okay, at least they can't see us sink. That Chapayev. All right, at least we we deprive him of that. Right? <laughs> you can't. You can't see a sink. <laughs> but we do have that fire on him. So we are... Well, he put it out. So that leaves us at what? 125,000 damage in the game. 
Oh, man. That, that, pretty good performance there in the Chapayev. That was, that was fun. We should have popped that smoke earlier. If we did, we would have been able probably to get that third kill on that uh, on the Chapayev. But, uh, yeah, looks like our friendly destroyer is going to gun him down. Is he? Is he going to be the one to do it? Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Do it. Okay. I, I didn't see who did it, but <laughs> that's the end of the game. Uh, yeah, that's the Harbin, guys. We are on the road. Like I said, we're on the road. We're on the road to the Sejan. And uh, I can't wait to get that ship. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun in it. And yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but here we are. And look at that. Almost 3,000 base XP, right? That's pretty good. We finished top of the leaderboard with 2810 XP. Uh, we did get those, uh, those two kills. And we finished the game, 125,000 damage. Yeah, yeah. We did get those two medals. We got the first blood. And we did manage to get that one devastating strike. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Enemy cruiser sunk.